Fox hey, here, and, Fox today, and today we got we got Banos gaming this new, this new very new first very episode, first episode. Alpha, Alpha Beta. Beta. So long time, so, long, time long time ago. Long time well, ago, not actually long, not actually long. But it was like but three months like, ago. Three I months made ago, a reaction made video a reaction of me reacting to one of Banos gaming. Videos. videos. Ever since then, I've been since then, hearing I've been like Van has been talking about Alpha Beta, Alpha Beta, even though I, even I, though don't, I, know, I don't know. I, he did say the characters say that the they character are, but I forgot. It also it, it's it also, also it produced also by the people by made people um made the series made called Rick and Morty, Morty, which I have seen. I have seen. I have seen that series. Seen that series. All of them. All so, of them. So, not me talking. Let's get to Alpha Beta. Oh my god, baby. All right. Here they are. <laughs> you ready, boys? I can't believe they did it. Of course they did it. It's their job to do it. So, what's the problem? Oh. The problem is how they do it. Oh my god! He's using gorgeous boots as a big boy! <laughs> American heroes. El Beta. Congrats to Mitch on his election. As David Allison, like me, President Clifton was horrified to learn that your division accounts for 70% of our defense budget. And we have absolutely no idea what the energy division actually does. That's a blank notebook, Daryl. Yeah. <laughs> this is an official audit. Today, I'll be deciding the future of this program. And you. Fine. What I'm about to show you will change how you see the world. In the early 1970s, the world started running out of oil. We tried renewables, but they were unreliable and confusing. We needed something sustainable and domestically produced. So we developed a small box that allows humans to generate electricity. It, it was a massive breakthrough. But in order to scale, we needed millions of users working hours a day for free. That's when video games were born. Today, kids unknowingly power the world for free. But every once in a while, the system malfunctions. When that happens, players get frustrated and they stop playing. The causes vary. A bug, a hacker, a rival government's energy division. But it always means trouble for the world's power grid. New York, 1977. India, 2012. Chernobyl. This is what the guy taking the guy off his like jacket. Yeah, no Christmas bonus that year. So we commissioned an elite 
a virtual strike force to ensure Chernobyl never happens again. This is Alpha Team, the tip of a $500 billion spear. And we're worth every penny. Are you telling me we're powering the country with video games? And the yeah. only thing separating yeah. us from the complete breakdown of society is four 20-something gamers? Code Black, in Area 51. That's exactly what I'm telling you. Uh, I'm so bored. Uh, we could watch a movie. Hello, guys. It's Steven. Knock, knock. Oh, yeah. New mission, boys. Let's load out. Hey, whoa, Eddie. Respect the game. Uh, don't, don't touch, touch the, the floor. floor. Don't touch the floor. Don't touch the floor. Don't touch and remember, don't touch the door without any foot to floor contact. Feet? We have unlimited CIA funds. You're lucky my legs still work. Watch the moat, dude. I see the moat, okay? I see it. That's it! We're getting rid of the moat! <sighs> no, Eddie. My turn. Oh, 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 oh. How do you get Yeah, yeah. Ooh, uh, how would I get the door before Buck is unconscious? You see, the thing about hover shoes is it's all about small, subtle movements. Something Eddie. <gasps> That's it! <you! laughs> Okay, I'm getting the door. Hey, Eddie. The legs. My turn. The legs. Hello? Anybody? Uh, listen, man. We know you don't like this game. Because you suck at it. No, no, no. You listen. Oh, he touched the oh, floor. Come on. <laughs> I'm not bad at anything, okay? In fact, I'm the best don't touch the floor player of all time. your shit. Authoritative oh. yelling. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> Thanks for getting the door, guys. You swatted our own house? Just so you know, it's a felony for a regular citizen to report a fake grundle assault. What? I had like two seconds to make something up. I am so sorry to rush, but we have a code black. Oh yeah! I love code black! Oh, shocker! Code blacks are the worst! Yeah. Yeah. Still out. Still out. Oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. <laughs> there he is. Alpha Team, this is Daryl. He's here to audit the program and waste our time. Daryl, this is Alpha Team. We have Eddie, runs point, self-important tryhard. Oh, come on, Allison. This is a distraction from the mission. Buck, explosions expert, speaks before he thinks. Fuck you. Holy shit. I am so sorry. Tommy, driver, pompous know-it-all. <laughs> Actually, Allison, I think you'll find that I'm... And Mason, ballistics, thinks sarcasm is a personality trait. It feels really natural to introduce us in detail for the benefit of a new audience. I gotta be honest, Allison. These guys seem willfully reckless and dangerously arrogant. Very observant, Daryl. But they've never failed a mission, so for now I'm stuck with them. Anyway, all non player characters have disappeared from our game Redhead Intervention. Without them, users can't progress past story mission four. So the game is hard. Who cares? We design these games to be addictive, but when they're impossible, users stop playing into something. Those are reference to the Red Dead Redemption. I forgot how to pronounce it. Not forgot. Software bug? Maybe. Does it say download TikTok or Chinese or Russian hackers? Because this game powers the southwestern sector. Area 51. And the last time we lost power to Area 51, it wasn't pretty. Yeah, they, they did say that on one of the The best in the world. Oh my god, right here! It's a gross degree! But this game has a million okay. active players. Okay. Changing its code is like taking a sharp left in the Titanic. Okay, so why doesn't Alpha Team just play the game like everyone else? You don't fix a toilet by shitting in it, Daryl. What? <sighs> Sending them inside the game makes them part of the you code. You don't even get so it. Everything the average player can't. Interact directly with the environment, hijack static vehicles, eliminate rogue NPCs. That checks out. I don't have any further questions about the premise. 
Tommy, Mason, Buck, I think it's comfortable. Yeah, I'm quite fine. Thank Cheers, you. Thanks for asking. <clears throat> great day to save the world, huh, Ruby? Yeah, really great, Eddie. Four years of training at the farm, only to find out I'd be spending my days babysitting a group of guys who make sex dolls of their coworkers. Damn, Eddie. Hope you brought a condom to work today. Huh. I took it more as a friendship doll. Oh, I'm sorry, Steven, but that thing is literally built to be fucked. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Nice. Are you reading, Ruby? I have like ten billion dollars of monitoring equipment. You don't have to speak into your lapel like it's a ninety-five, Eddie. Man, Eddie, are you worried things might be moving a bit fast with Ruby? Oh, this place is a ghost town. We're losing almost a thousand players a minute. Aw, oh, come on! Where is everyone? This game is impossible. Ah, guess I'll just go suck my own dick on TikTok. <laughs> You have two hours to locate the source issue and eliminate it. Otherwise, Area 51 goes dark. All right, boys, let's go get some answers. Yeah. Tommy, uh, why aren't you riding your horse? Yeah, it just doesn't feel right, you know? Like riding another living thing. You had a steak last night. Yeah, but like, you wouldn't ride your dog. If my dog was a horse, I'd ride it. Yeah, well, what about elephants? People freak out if you ride elephants. Tommy, could you not ride a horse? <laughs> Eddie, I'm the transportation expert. Of course I can ride a horse. Door kick! Oh, make sure you don't touch the floor! Uh, I know that might be a bit tough for you, Eddie. Yeah, ooh, the floor is lava! It's gonna burn my baby legs! I'll play it when it counts, idiots. Uh, Ma'am, where is everybody? Two Buck Chuck has everyone holed up in the fort outside town. System malfunction is confirmed as a rogue non-player character. Ruby, you getting this? Let me check the two trillion dollar immersion rig. Oh, yeah. I'm getting it. Dollar buys you a reach around. Mm. Two dollars and I'll use my good hand. Three dollars and I'll- Guys, be respectful. She could have been sex trafficked here. Oh, the digital prostitute was sex trafficked. We should start a GoFundMe. Ugh. Oh, are you trying to be an ally because Ruby is listening? Guys, 90 minutes to get to that fort. Kill two buck Chuck. Move. move. Yeah, they have some moving. Still don't understand why we can't just take the horses. This is just as fat. Look, if you can't ride a horse. I can. My objection is ethical. And look at this thing. You know, the 1800s were a real golden age for humanity. Except uh, life expectancy. Personal hygiene. Place is just crawling with hand jobs. Gender inequality. Hey, this ain't the black car. Racism. Yep, a real golden age, Tommy. I'm just saying they had cool trains, okay? Ah! Looks like Tubuck Chuck sent you a little welcoming party. Get in. They're trying to stop the train. Get to the engine room and make sure this thing keeps moving. We made it. We made it. See, safely at the fort, on time, without abusing any animals. It was basically. Uh... basically... Oh. Oh. Ah! Oh, thank God. 
It takes 30 minutes for these rigs to reboot. <laughs> it takes my husband 45 minutes to reboot after sex, and he doesn't power Area 51. Damn it, Tommy, you killed me. Hey, no, the cactus killed you, not me. Who cares who killed who, you morons? We have 10 minutes until Area 51 loses power. Let's go. Shoot. to blast our way in. I can give you a piggyback ride if you're worried about it. My legs are normal size. And I know because I measured them against a German soldier yesterday. You use the starving Nazi from the 1940s as a benchmark? Guys, shut up. <gasps> hmm. I have a plan. The dead Nazi was very well fed, by the way. I saw a full steak in his flipped <laughs> open stomach. Can I have one? What? A cheese puff. Can I have one? Mason, I'm kind of busy here. I just died, Ruby. So have a cheese puff! Sweet. Thanks, Allison. Ooh, what does this do? I've spent 10 years driving a Prius for absolutely no reason. Dude, no way they put you down, down there. Calm down. down there. This is a the movie where all the guards are interrogation experts. Most henchmen make minimum wage. They're outrageously stupid. Who's there? I got two more for you. Hmm. I thought you might be here to break out all these hostages and kill our leader. But those guys' hands are tied. Yeah. yeah. Okay, come on in. Hey, the way you guys get paid, by the way. Better do that, then. How long until shut down? Five minutes. Maybe. Go, Lisa. My doobop is a good flapple itself. Hey, you in charge around here? Seems that way, don't it? I got two more for you. From my perspective, it looks like I got three. Oh, my bad. I did have a feeling, though. Kill them, boys. So people yeah, like that happen. Oh. Oh. Jeez. Fine, I can't ride horses, okay? Everyone happy? Want a cheese puff? Of course! <laughs> <laughs> okay, we get Ted Rise or Vanos left. Eddie, you're the last one standing. If you die, Area 51 goes with you. And definitely losing your jobs. God, she's such a good dancer. And so down to earth. <laughs> Looks like it's game over. Oh. Uh. Eddie, take the shot. Uh. Shoot him! Is he uh trying to save her? Don't you dare try to save her. This is classic. <laughs> I don't care if you kill a fake hooker. Whoa, Ruby, that's a pretty hard age. Uh oh. Ready, 90 seconds. I can't. What? What? I've seen enough. 
I'll be across the hall writing my report. Oh, come on, Daryl. Can't we just cut teacher salaries again? Why did we program this thing to feel pain? Somebody please kill me! <laughs> What is he doing? No idea, but if he touches that fire, he's dead immediately. Oh, maybe he's killing himself. I would. He failed the mission trying to impress a girl. <sighs> I mean, it's true. Oh my god. Yeah. Young woman, yeah. is girl offensive? Can I not say girl anymore? Watching history. Who cares? He could have just shot the prostitute. You just don't get it. This is more than a game, Ruby. Of course, it's more than a game. That's the point. Ah! Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why'd you sign up for this? Ma'am? You risked the whole mission just to save a digital prostitute? It's the right thing to do. And that, Ruby, is what makes us alpha team. Oh, come on. He just wanted to prove he didn't suck it. Don't touch the floor. <laughs> we never do the right thing. <laughs> I know, right? Like that time I killed that old guy in real life. <coughs> Pretty good day to save the world, huh, Eddie? Yeah, Ruby. Yeah, it was. There is a giant hole in my tiny legs. Get me out of this game now. So that was Fanless Gaming's new series, Alpha Team. This is episode one of it. So, hope you guys did enjoy it. And see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. <laughs>as you can guess, my recommendation will be to fold the entire program and revert to ruining the planet with non-renewable resources. Before you make your final judgment, I've got one more thing to show you. <sighs> oh, what is this, Allison? Daryl, meet Bravo team. This is Edgelord. He runs Point. Oh, Great! Another frivolous character introduction. Oh, you got murked! Hey, Steven. Gonna need a cleanup in Bravo HQ. <sighs> Your mission was to thwart Alpha Team so I could finally fire them. We are so sorry, Allison. We tried our best. Listen, my performance as Tupac Chuck was flawless. Sammy crushed it as the henchman, and Emily played the prostitute perfectly. A little too perfectly, frankly. We're not even dating, Tanner. Emily, call me Edgelord. Ugh, your name is Tanner. So what the hell happened? Uh. Well, we didn't plan on Eddie being the greatest don't touch the floor player of all time. Yeah, that was unexpected. Hello, ladies. Just getting a little bit of this mess out of your way. <laughs> oh! oh. Holy shit, he's Steven a robot? Ah, shoot. Ha, a spinal cord is jammed in one of my rotors. Oh my god. Can I get a hand here?